Hi, I'm Angela Sisi with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Today I'd like to show you how to clean and disinfect your Altera or eFlow nebulizer system based on the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation consensus. It's very important for you to clean, disinfect, and air dry all of the equipment you use for your inhaled medications after each use. So let's get started. First, clean your hands with alcohol-based hand gel or soap and water before handling your nebulizer. Next, disassemble your nebulizer and set each part aside on a clean surface. Thoroughly rinse each part under warm running tap water for approximately 10 seconds. Rinse both sides of the aerosol head, being careful not to touch the metal membrane. Next, add a few drops of clear liquid soap to your clean bowl and add warm tap water. Do not use antibacterial soap or white liquid dish soaps like ivory because these might damage the nebulizer handset. Wash your aerosol head in the bowl and then rinse it under warm running tap water and place it on a clean lint-free towel or paper towel. Be sure not to place the aerosol head face down or it may pick up fibers from the towel. Next, put all of the other parts of your nebulizer into the bowl and wash by gently shaking the bowl. When you have finished cleaning each part, Rinse it under warm running tap water and place it on a clean, lint-free towel or paper towel. The next step is to disinfect your handset using an electronic steam sterilizer like those used for baby bottles. For this demonstration, I'll be using the Nook Quick and Ready Baby Bottle Steam Sterilizer. Do not, under any circumstances, use a microwave steam sterilizer. And be sure to read the operating and safety instructions before using your baby bottle sterilizer. Place the nook base on a level surface, and if you have children, be sure it's out of their reach. Remove the beaker from the base, and use it to measure and pour 2.5 ounces of tap water into the base. You will need to use the beaker twice, since the maximum measurement of the beaker is 1.5 ounces. After pouring the tap water into the base, replace the beaker in the holder. Next, place the steam receptacle on the base, and place the bottle holder in the steam receptacle. Use the hinge between the medication reservoir and aerosol chamber to hang the nebulizer handset over the bottle holder. This will allow you to disinfect multiple handsets during one cycle of the steam sterilizer. Place the accessories basket on the top of the steam receptacle and lay the mouthpiece, medication cap, inspiratory valve, and aerosol head in a single layer. Be sure to rest the aerosol head on the plastic tabs and not face down. Then place the lid on top of the basket and insert the power plug into a socket. Switch the device on using the on switch and the control light will light up. If the control light is already lit, this means the on switch has already been inadvertently activated. The disinfection process lasts about 8 minutes and when it's all done, the steam sterilizer will switch off automatically and the control light will go out. Once it's finished, wait at least 3 minutes before opening the sterilizer or you could be scalded by trapped steam. Before handling any of the disinfected items, remember to clean your hands with alcohol-based hand gel or soap and water. The items being disinfected will be very hot, so allow them to cool down or use tongs to remove them from the steam sterilizer. Place the handset parts on a clean, lint-free towel or paper towel to allow them to air dry. If you notice that the towels have become damp, it's a good idea to replace them with dry ones. Remember, Germs will grow on anything that stays wet. Store the disinfected, air-dried parts in a sealable, clean plastic bag or container until the next use. If the controller needs cleaning, wipe it down with a slightly damp, soft cloth. Do not allow liquid to get inside the controller. Wait to reassemble your nebulizer until just before your next treatment. This ensures that the silicone seals do not become warped over time. We at the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation care about your health and we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 